happy that it's Friday. Today, I know what day it is. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment at the Diva Know You Stop By. We down here. I don't have anything to talk about today. I just got finished watching uh, Tanya TKO's video about, you know, this this top, the, the kitchen and culture. I mean, you know what I, you know, kitchen and cocktails. Yes. Yes. Come on, Mariah. <laughs> I did not watch Mariah and um, Ariana Grande last night. I heard it was really good. Um, I guess it was some other people there, but I think everybody was really wanting to see Ariana and Mariah Carey come together because it's really like, uh, she, I mean, when she first came out, out, everybody was like, girl, is that Mariah's daughter? Who is that girl? Y'all know. So I think it was very exciting. I think everybody was really excited. I haven't got, I haven't got a chance to see it, but, um, I saw a little clip of them harmonizing that those little high whistle notes they be doing. Ah, yes. ODB, rest in peace ODB, we down here, we just doing our thing, let's see what's going on here, mm. Ooh, I'm going to leave it on, I'm going to leave it on, let's see, I'm going to leave it on so I can hear a little bit, okay, let's see, what were we talking about, okay, so this morning, like I said, I was watching Tanya TKO's video about, um, you know, the cocktails, and she had a lot of different perspectives and ideas, she had a lot, I love, she just gives it all, she just gives you everything that you need from all angles all sides baby when she said okay so you say you made your place for black people she was held everybody accountable it's a nice place for black people well what kind of black people because here we are not a monolith again i mean i feel like that should be on a shirt somewhere but it's so weird because we say we're not a monolith but then when Letitia wright shares some crazy ass ridiculous ass misinformed video everybody is mad at her there were people in her comments wishing her death she was responding to them i was like girl i know it's hard not to say things to people who are being negative but people were wishing her dead and i thought to myself i was like girl we say we're not a monolith but then we like literally request for people to die if they don't share our same point of view or perspective it's so weird and it's like unfortunate that everybody it's like you want to bully people into having a collective perspective but then when it comes to other things you're like we're not a monolith so if we're not a monolith then that means i have the capacity and the space hello to actually have a an opinion or share a thought or an something that's outside of what we're used to or what we're agreeing upon you know what i mean like i don't know why where that comes from and then it's like if you say anything in defense of her like why are y'all are telling this lady she shared something that was a complete propaganda misinformed idea about vaccinations and people didn't like it and but then everybody's like cancel her defund Letitia right I was I didn't know that you were you thought like this and then and then when you're like okay well she obviously clearly doesn't know what these things mean maybe she needs some education but then it's like well I'm not gonna educate you because I spent so much on my education to learn so you need to go and learn the same thing that I know so that I can hold you to the same standard and you holding people to a standard and of knowledge and consciousness that you are on you you your individual self you are holding people to a guideline based on where you are you <laughs> based on where you are somebody may not be there yet and it's it's I, there's a quote by malcolm x that says something to the effect of like stop judging people with the knowledge that you had and at one time you didn't have that knowledge you didn't have that knowledge that you have that you're judging and criticizing somebody about they don't know and no people get tired of educating people i get it but if you 
clearly see that this person shared. Have you ever shared something that wasn't completely 100% true? Have you ever repeated something? Have you ever posted something and you found out, damn, it wasn't true? Gosh. And then the video is like an hour long and apparently there's some anti-trans statements in there too. So now because she shared that, that means that she agrees with every single thing. Does that mean she agrees because she's sharing it? Like everybody has in their bios, I know I have in my bio, a retweet is not an endorsement. Just because I retweet you doesn't mean I agree with everything that you're saying. Maybe I want to inject into my timeline a different perspective that would maybe start a conversation and it's like if you don't agree with me that's it and you're biased and it's just like I, it's like we have been given the gift to communicate the only living organism on this rock and we fail every day at doing it every single day every day there are people in that girl's comments wishing her death because she shared a video that contained misinformation. Think about that. You want to throw her away. If that isn't a tentacle of white supremacy, then I don't know what it is. You want to throw somebody away instead of saying, Letitia, you know, this information is wrong. Like this morning, I said, you have been subtly conditioned and subconsciously programmed to believe that Lucifer means Satan. And it literally does not mean that. It literally does not mean that. So every time you see Lucifer, you have an association, a negative association with the word to mean Satan. And it does not mean that. That's how it was translated in the Bible. But it literally does not mean that. So when you see the word Lucifer, you're like, oh my God, the devil is coming. The devil is coming. I'm scared and everything else. Whatever other fear your religion instilled in you. And you, and then you say, Leticia girl, Lucifer, first of all, means this. Literally means light bringer. So you have a negative association with the word based on your upbringing, societal conditioning, religious conditioning, whatever. But it literally does not mean that, sweetheart. So every time you see that word, do not think of the devil. Like literally. And maybe she might be open to that. But y'all want to, like, I couldn't believe there were people sending her to hell like their version whatever idea that of hell that they have you're sending this woman there what are you doing that's better than how are you helping her like I, I don't I don't get it and then and then just by me saying why you are criticizing the response to her it's going to be oh oh you're protecting a celebrity you're speaking up for a celebrity if you don't think that your behavior how you are towards a celebrity someone who is celebrated I, i'm 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 not going to think that you are unable to mimic that same exact behavior on someone who isn't celebrated so are you telling me that you only reserve this type of fucking dumb behavior for celebrities and every time a celebrity makes a mistake all of a sudden it's like oh my god you're protecting celebrities you're protecting rich people no i, I take all of that shit away that you are judging people on. This, this shit isn't fucking real. And we judging people on. And forgetting that. Uh, 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 rip all that shit away. There is a human standing right there. There's a human standing right there. And they don't have the same perspective. They were not born with the. the we all. These things right here. This right here. These. All of us have mine are mine you can stand right next to me with your eyes and look at the same exact thing and you and I see something different should I push you off the ledge because you don't see what I see or should you should I allow you the space to explain to me how you see it 
Am I going to call you biased or say you've been paid because you see it a different way? No, you sit there and say, this is why I see it this way. From my perspective, the truths that the experiences that I've had, the truths that I've come to accept. This is why I have this perspective. Just because somebody has a different perspective than you, you throw them away. But then you yell, we're not a monolith. Y'all need to get it together because somebody is lying. Somebody is lying. Now, I didn't come down here. I came down here with a good little energy. But that really meant, I, I, I saw those comments to Letitia yesterday and I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. And then you guys act like each human being, each of us, have our own biases. All of us do. Every single human walking alive on this earth has biases. Those biases are shaped by your experiences, your identity, your gender, your religion, whatever you have accepted as your morals, your value, your biases shape that every last one of us have biases. And just because somebody does not agree with you does not mean they are biased. It means, guess what? They have a different perspective than you. And instead of accusing them of being paid, and instead of accusing them of whatever the fuck you want to accuse them for because they don't see it your way. Because you know how many people tell me I'm not biased simply because they agree with me? Simply because you agree with me, all of a sudden I'm not biased. And as soon as I don't agree with you or you don't agree with me, I'm biased, I'm being paid, all of this dumb shit. We have been given the gift to communicate and we fail every day. Because you want someone, while you yell, I'm not a monolith, we're not a monolith, you want to yell at somebody from, for offering as misinformed as it may be, for offering a different perspective than you. If it's misinformed, now you're going to throw me away? God damn, I'm learning. Hello? Aren't you? Aren't you learning? Because if you're not, then you need to go somewhere and open a book, read a book, listen to a podcast, do something. Because every day you should be learning, learning. Every day we're learning. I don't, nobody knows everything. And I think people feel like, can nobody not know something? It's, it's, Google is your best friend. Okay. And if I read on Google what I've researched and I have a different perspective than you, now you want to throw me away because I understood it differently based on my biases, how I was raised, what truths I hold, what experiences I have. And, and, I, and I still went there and I found the information you told me to go find and I don't see it the same way. So now I'm being paid. Now, now the other per oh you biased, or now you want to throw them away. Now you want to cancel them and all this other dumb shit. I'm done talking. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Seek to communicate effectively. Seek to communicate for understanding. Instead of affirmation, I understand you. You have a different perspective. I still don't agree, but I understand where you're coming from and why your opinion is shaped as such. You guys take care of each other. Peace. Yeah.